This is me trying to do three-point lighting, all three lights. I think I wanted to pose my guy here a bit, so I move his arm. And now he's, the framing's a bit off, but I think I adjust here. Nice little medium shot. An MS, a little bit of headroom, and then through the torso for the bottom of the frame. Okay, we've got three point lighting here T light, backlight, fill light. On my snowmobile guy here. All right, so there you go. So you can see key light lighting the lights, uh, the, the left side of his face, which is screen right. And it is actually the strongest light. It's the key light. Then the backlight, the color temperature is a bit off, but that's okay for today's exercise. And then I have um, my fill light sort of filling in the side here, the right side of his face, which is screen left for us. All right. Let's look at the next, cl next clip. This is my attempt at my mysterious half face, which means um, I'm just using my key light. Face. And uh, you can see the left side of his face, Chip's face, is, is illuminated from the key light. And then the right side of his face is in shadow. And uh, if I had, you know, more of a controlled environment, um, I could get it even darker. But, but if you can achieve something like this where... Um, you know, you're, you've got the, the key light illuminating the left side of, of your toy or your uh, housemate's face, your family, your cohabitant at your place, whoever is your subject. If the left side can be lit and then the right side in shadow, then that's good for mysterious happening. All right, there we go, moving along. This is my attempt at uh, backlighting, um, glamour, glamour, sparkle glamour backlight. Okay, so here is my attempt at uh, backlit glamour hair. Now, Chip the snowmobiler doesn't have any hair, but, but this is how uh, it should look in terms of you only have a backlight, if you have you know, a lamp behind your uh, subject, human or non-human, uh, and no other light, you should have something like this, where the backlight is shining into the camera lens, uh, but it's, it's creating a bit of a halo, a bit of a unearthly, heavenly, perhaps, Backlight on your subject. If Chip here had hair, I could take his helmet off and he had hair. Uh, there might even be a bit of a sparkle uh, coming off of his hair. All right. And then lastly, here is using the sunlight, using the sun as a key light. In this case, the key light is on the right side of Chip's face, screen left to us. And then I'm going to just use a regular piece of, you know, eight and a half by 11 computer paper, you know, white paper that you might print an assignment out on an essay. And I'm, you're going to see it works quite well here. I get quite excited about how well my, my, my sheet of paper bounce card works. Okay. And for my final shot here with, uh, with Chip, the snowmobiler sponsored by Yamaha, apparently. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm using the uh, sunlight as the key, as my main light source. In this case, it's on the uh, right side of uh, Chip's face, which would be screen left for us looking at the footage. Uh, so I'm using the sunlight as uh, I'm 
just going to use a, uh, like a, a normal piece of paper, computer paper, eight and a half, excuse me, eight and a half by eleven computer paper. So here is a chip with just the sunlight as a key. And now I'm going to hold up a white piece of paper out of the frame to try to use the sun also uh, as a fill light. So here I go. I'm going to put a piece of paper outside the frame to use as a fill light. Oh boy, that works well. Man, I should get into miniature. Okay, so there you go. There's the sunlight as the key light. And then I'm just using a white piece of paper out of the frame. And look at that. Beautiful. I'm just using the sun. I'm quite pleased with this, I have to say. Uh, hey, take your small successes when you can. Uh, there you go. So no, no piece of paper as a fill light. Piece of paper as a fill light. No piece of paper as a fill light. Piece of paper as a fill light. You can just see it's just a white piece of paper. There. 